Hey guys, welcome to the Fame Insider. We often hear how upcoming artists are exploited in the music industry. Their vocals are used in tracks that go on to make thousands of rands, but when it comes to them getting compensated, dololo. Recently, another artist who made news for experiencing the same exploitation is Itumeleng Wukaba, who revealed that she was only paid 59 cents for her vocals used in Questa's hit track, Mai Babo. Unfortunately, another young and upcoming artist to sing Imate allegedly experienced the same exploitation at the hands of a legendary gospel musician Ndate Soli Moholu. Singer shared his side of the story while a guest on a podcast. He explained, Soli Moholu first saw me while I was working with the late Mujeremane and Gosana on an album. He approached me after hearing my voice, saying he was working on a new album and needed a lead artist. He had already produced the beats and gave me a cassette to practice with. After a month or two, we went to the studio and recorded the album. The whole album was sung by me. I was only 19 at the time in 1999. Sinki continued, I remember after we recorded the last song, the producer suggested to Soli Moholo, let Sinki be the artist and you remain as the producer. But Soli said, no, let me talk to Sinki first. That was the last time I heard from him. About a month later, I suddenly heard heard my voice on the radio next door it was everywhere now unfortunately guys and that this solely has passed on and we will never get to hear his side of the story such situations are quite unfortunate guys because sometimes you wonder what is the point of leveling such allegations against the person who has already passed on because they are not even here to share their side of the story or even defend themselves unfortunately whether Sinki Mata's allegations are true or not I'm afraid it's a little bit too late for him to be revealing this now.